Alright there, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Clop Talk TV. It is an instant match reaction. We have just scored. Well, Alison has just scored from a, a, a corner. Alison Becker, you absolute legend. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even watch the game until like the last 10 minutes. As I was in work, obviously, so I, I won't be able to do the video match highlights. But actually, subscribe for more LFC content. Subscribe, turn the post notifications on, like this video. Because all the all that sort of stuff will be back on Wednesday for you all to enjoy. Uh, with a Klopp talk show, they will return in this week. And we do have a special guest. I won't say right now, but I will uh, announce it in tomorrow's video so stay tuned for that but this is on West Brom just want to break it down go into a little bit of player ratings I'm about to jump on to Theo's so I will get this going for you all but yeah honestly mate I am buzzing Liverpool uh, sorry one minute so Hal Rob Robson Carnu scored I was like oh, are you kidding me obviously I had the notifications on me watch and I thought, oh, here we go. You, typical Liverpool, this. Not be, uh, a bit of beat uh, a team in Man United with, uh, who's, who's had an absolutely unbelievable season. And then we can't beat a, a relegated team in West Brom. I thought, here we go. Low block teams, always the issue. Teams that we're, not expect, uh, we're, that we're expected to beat, we can't beat. That's just been our problem all season. I thought, here we go. Here's Hal Robson Khan. We've seen the goal. It was a decent little goal, but... Didn't really track the run. I think when you the ball come over the top, um, and it was like are you. He was like you. Yeah. I seen the goal back, and I was like, oh, it's a sloppy goal to defend, and um, it's a sloppy goal to concede. I mean, but then obviously shortly after, Mohamed Salah getting his twenty second goal of the season, level on with Harry Kane. What a goal! Instinctive finish. There's a lot of VAR talk about whether it should have been a drop ball or a free kick. Look, I I don't. I don't really get that rule, so uh, I can't really comment on that. But for me, I think the way Mo Salah hits it, and I can only really comment on the goal, because obviously it was a bit scrappy lead into the goal, obviously with Manny and Firmino. Um, looked like they had, they had the, the opposite uh, boots on. But um, cut falls to Salah, and he just bends it round that far corner. Uh, and it's just such an instinctive finish, but it's such a Mo Salah goal. It's a brilliant goal. In off the post, it's just a t it's just a wonderful goal. I think when you look at Mo Salah, he's been absolutely phenomenal, and you you look at where we've be, we've been this year, and it, without him, we I don't know where we'd be in the league table. That is for certain. But obviously, we carried on going, uh, and second half wasn't many notifications on my watch. So I thought, oh, I I could only read between the lines, and I thought, right, yeah, Sam Allardyce has probably just lumped. Uh, 10 men behind the ball, playing for a draw. And then I heard that there was a goal to West Brom, which was disallowed for VAR. Now, I did see this, and I do believe that it was not a goal. Uh, Phillips was standing in, directly in front of Alisson. He doesn't see the head off Bartley uh, or whoever um, heads the ball down for Bartley who nodded it at home. But look, I think that rule just shows that it's it's obstructing Allison. Allison can't see the ball uh, fall down from the header, so I don't see w why people are complaining about that. Whether it's it's not a goal. Look, I mean, it's you know if if I guarantee you if that happened to any other team and any other opposition fans would be crying, calling out for the same thing. So the game goes on. I, I come in the last ten minutes. I was actually watching the last ten minutes. Looked a little bit scrappy. Liverpool uh, being a little bit wasteful. Obviously Trent had a chance. Um, then you then you had Manny who also had a chance. Uh, Trent whipped the ball in. Thiago had a few chances actually. Uh, Thiago was absolutely brilliant today. I'll obviously touch on play ratings. And then your big boy Allison gets his noggin on it. So I did actually start recording the last few minutes, and this is my reaction to the Allison goal. If you're all wondering, it's no, it's typical Liverpool. This Allison, oh! Oh! yes, yes, Allison just scored. Yes, up the right yard. Come on, yes. Yes! Oh, yes! What did I tell you? Yes! Uh, so yeah, that 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 was absolutely brilliant, and that puts us in really good stead going into the last two games. I think the belief. Look, we didn't play well. We're still going to find it very difficult. We've still got a lot to do if we want to get top four now. But two wins is more realistic of us achieving than. Um, 
the three that were set out before today. So I think when you look at it, it's one game further, one game less. Do you know what I mean? So I think it's a it's a brilliant it's a brilliant it's 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 not a perfect game, but it's a it's a it's a momentous win. Let's just put it that way. Uh, but honestly, I'm so happy. Let's get into player ratings. Allison, I'm gonna give a ten. Uh, obviously, didn't keep a clean sheet, but uh, obviously got the goal. When the keepers get the goals, I'm just gonna give him a ten. Reese Williams, I heard wasn't so great. I think um, people are saying that he shouldn't really be in the team. I don't know. I shouldn't really be doing play reigns because I didn't really watch the game. But if you look at Reese Williams, I think a fair assessment would be a four, five out of ten. Uh, Phillips. Always produces a solid performance. So I'm gonna go six or seven. Trent and Robbo, uh, Robert Trent with the the assist for the last goal. So I'm gonna give him an eight. Robertson seven. Um, Thiago man of the match. Hundred and fifteen touches. One hundred and four passes. That's absolutely unbelievable for a midfielder of his caliber. So I'm gonna give him a eight nine out of ten. Uh, Fabinho. I'm gonna give it a eight out of ten. Uh, Curtis Jones. Not you'd much of him. So I won't really give him a rating. Um, Salah, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. Mane, I'm going to give... I think he scored, but he was offside, so I'm going to give him a 6.5, 7 out of 10. Firmino, captain the club today. Big up big up, Bobby Firmino. Big up the pearling teeth, pearling white teeth. I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10 uh, just because he's captain the club for the first time. So that's my player ratings. Looking forward, we have a lot to do, a lot to get through. Canate news is coming out tomorrow, so stay tuned about the Canate business and some more news in general. I will be putting a news roundup show for you tomorrow. Tuesday, we've got the Burnley preview. Wednesday, we have got the Burnley Instant Match reaction Thursday we have the Klopp talk show and the Burnley match highlights and Friday we have the Crystal Palace preview a lot of content for you guys to stay in touch with I I, I blessed blessed to have this opportunity blessed to have this platform all without all with you guys it's all with you guys my love is all through to you Big up to everyone who's in the comments. And big up to everyone who's hit that like button. Big up to everyone who's hit the subscribe button. I've seen your post notifications on as well. Absolutely brilliant. Liverpool, three points further. Three points closer to the top four game. <laughs>